All right, I got a question, and this is important, okay? This is something I want you to think about before you answer it, okay? So this morning, I watched in, in my, my mother-in-law's neighborhood as the, the Jehovah's Witness were walking down the street, uh, going house to house to, to proclaim um, what they believe. And um, I, I rang the doorbell at my mother-in-law's, and my wife looked through the the blinds and then she opened the door and I, I teased her. I said, well, what's going on? What's taking so long? What was taking you so long to open the door? Are you expecting somebody else? And um, she said, yeah, the Jehovah's Witness just left. And so she didn't want to open the door for them. I said, well, why don't you open the door and talk to them? And as I was leaving, I watched one of the men that was part of the, the company of Jehovah's Witness that were going door to door. And he was a very big man, very big man. It looked like every step he took was laborsome. It was hard. It was he had to work for those steps. And what God placed in my spirit was this. We make fun of or we talk about the Jehovah's Witness. We talk about how the Mormons don't have uh, the accuracy in their their message. But yet these are the people that are going out. These are the people that are uh, proclaiming what they believe is truth. And as believers, as Christians, if we say we believe in Christ, why aren't you and I going out? Why aren't we spreading the gospel? So my question to you today is this. What are you doing today to advance the kingdom? What are you doing today to spread the gospel? Okay, so before we make fun of the next person for doing what they believe, if we say we disagree with it or we don't agree with everything they agree with, why are we not out trying to share what we believe? All right. Let that bless you. Let it simmer. Let you think about it, contemplate it, and then go and do something great with your life today. God bless.